Well, welcome back to another Retrobriting. You know, I've noticed that a lot of people out there only Retrobrite plastic that is either white or gray. Kind of like my Commodore computers right here or my 8-bit console over here. And so many other computers and monitors out there. But in this episode, we're going to be talking about plastic that has different colors. Like all of these toys you see here on the table, even a stuffed animal. And is it possible to get the colors back to their original color? And can we remove these different types of stickers from these toys without damaging them? So we're going to be doing some experiments to see what works and doesn't work. So stick around and see if this whole thing was a bad idea. Now I went to the flea market and I found this Barbie scooter. And this will be perfect for our experiment here. Now I know for a fact this is supposed to be completely pink. Like this basket here. So let us open it up and see its original color. It's a little tricky to get this part off. Wow, look at this. Now that is really pink inside. And the seat is also light pink inside. Now if we put them together side by side, we can tell the difference between the colors and how brown it has become throughout the years. And this is where we're going to attempt to see if we can get the color pink back. I'm gonna use these clamps here to hold the plastic down so the plastic doesn't float to the surface. And as you can see, it's not going anywhere. Now I'm going to put on some black tape, only on half of it, so we can see what it looked like before and after. Now I bought this radiator very cheap. This is just to adjust how much heat I need. Now I just want it to be warm throughout the process. In order for this to work, we're going to need water and hydrogen peroxide. And of course, we're going to use UV lights here. Now I check on it every hour just to see how it's doing. And I noticed that the radiator isn't warming up anymore. Now I don't know why it's not working anymore. So I tried different methods to get it to work again. So I ended up using the kettle to warm up things throughout the process. And here I'm going to use a pan. This will make it easier to empty and refill hot water. And would you look at that. Now that thing got pink. But it didn't get the dark pink like inside. It became more light pink. Now you can see the difference when I put them back together just how pink it got. Now it looks better than it did before. That's for certain. It actually matches now with the basket. Now this one here, I can already tell it has gotten lighter. So let us remove this black tape and see the difference. Wow, look at that. That looks much better than the brown stuff. So it actually looks better now. Now, a couple of days later, I actually found the exactly same scooter in a used store where its original color is still intact. And this is where I noticed that the lights behind it are actually supposed to be transparency and not supposed to be orange like mine. Now we'll come back to this one later. I want to show you something. This is a Playmo Starship. As a kid, I always wanted to have one of these, but I never did until now. And I actually like this starship design. And the reason I want to show you this is because this reminds me from a video game called UFO Enemy Unknown. Now this wasn't the first one I got. This was the one I got first. And as you can see, the plastic on the top here looks different. Even in the inside looks different as you can see here where this one is very blue and the other one is kinda greenish blue. And here you can see that this dark blue has shrunk into itself, maybe because of the sun or it has been in a warm place for a very long time. This thing has shrunk so much that it can actually go through the ship where the other one fits perfectly as it should. 
So this is where we're going to attempt to see if we can retrobrite transparency plastic. Like the windows from the Starship, which I have right here. And let us not forget the backlight from the scooter here, where I thought it was supposed to be orange, where they're actually supposed to be transparency. Just like this one here, a Lego window. So we're gonna see what it takes to bring it back, so we can see through it again. Now this one here, the arms, the legs, are actually shrinking due to they are hard rubber plastic. But what we're going to retrobrite is Krang's window from this robot here. And see if we can get it more clear and get some of this brownish off. Now you can see here, I'm trying different methods. So I made these foldable lines on the plastic. But unfortunately, the moment I put hot water on it, it straightened itself out and returned to its original form. And this time I'm gonna use the hub or the stove or whatever you call it, a hot plate. And I'm only going to set it to one because I just want it to be warm since we know that heat is an important element to get into the plastic for this to work. Now looking at them, they look great, but I think I can do a better job. So I'm going to put them in hydrogen peroxide and see if that will help. Now I'm going to use this plastic box here because it's smaller and I can close the lid on it. And we're just going to put some hot water into it to get it started. Well after two hours I could tell it already looks much better. And I'm just going to fish them out of this box here. Now the backlight from the scooter needs to stay in the box because it needs to be retrobrited for many many hours. Yeah, that looks much better. You can hardly see any of the brown stuff now. And here's the comparison before and after. And we're just gonna put it right back where we took it from. Now it's been a really long day for me, so I decided to take a little nap for myself. So I set the alarm clock to one hour, but I was so tired that I didn't realize that I set it for another day. And this is what happens when you're not paying attention and being careful. All the water and the hydrogen peroxide has evaporated and it started to melt the plastic. But when I took a closer look at it, I noticed that the corners were very clear to see through. So this gave me hope that it is possible, so I'm not gonna give up. So I'm gonna take the other one from the other side from the scooter and I'm going to retrobrite this one here. And this time I'll be careful. So when I go to sleep, I'll just turn it off. And when I wake up, I'll turn the heat back up again. Now I don't know if the camera can see it, but to me, it's really green. Now, because I'm doing it this way, I have to maintain by filling up new hydrogen peroxide and water because it keeps evaporating. Would you look at that? Now, I don't see any brown here. Do you? And here's the comparison before and after. Now it's not perfect, but it's better than the brown stuff. Now I'm very curious to see if we can get some of the color back from the top of this starship. I'm gonna use this glass plate to keep the water from evaporating. Now I check on it every hour, and for every hour I turn the plastic just to make certain that the UV lights gets all the corners. Now unfortunately, I can't see much has happened to it. It looks exactly the same. It might have gotten a little lighter, but it was a nice try. Now many of you probably recognize this one here. This is Chip from Rescue Rangers. Now what's interesting about this one here is that the eyes have turned brown when they're supposed to be completely white. And we're gonna use this here, Panola Volume 40. Now I bought this two years ago, but I think it still works. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is put some black tape around the eyes. This is to protect the fabric from the goo which we are going to put on the eye. 
I'm gonna use this plastic here and put it over the eye. This is to prevent it from evaporating. And I'm just gonna apply some of this goo onto the eye. And then we're just gonna put this over it. And here I'm gonna use some of my clean socks to prevent the UV lights from hitting the fabric. Now I put the UV lights close to the eye and it irradiates a lot of heat. So that solves the problem by making it warm. And would you look at that? We can tell that it's gotten its original color back. Now there's one thing that I've noticed. If I zoom in here, you can see where I put my fingers on it on the black spot. Now I should have just let it dry first and cool down. Then I could have washed it away without damaging the black spot. But now we know. And now we're going to attempt to remove stickers from our toys here. Now, I don't have the heart to do it on these guys here, so I actually got some parts, like this one here, from the B-Wing Star Wars. Now this one is kind of like paper stickers, so this will be great to try out. And then we have Transformers. I got the exact same model. Now this one is actually a little brown, and most of the Transformers stickers have this silver thing, or that special little symbol, which you can put your, your finger on it, warm it, and it will change color. Great times. And for the last one, we're going to try to use the turtle van. Now, this one's broken and I got this really cheap. And the, the stickers on these ones here are a little plastic. So again, perfect for our experiment. Now, what we're going to use is this called Double V40. Never tried it before, so It'll be interesting to try it out. And then we're also going to try to use lighter gas. Now this is a little dangerous to play with, so we're gonna be a little careful when we use it. And for the last thing, we're going to use a heat gun on some of them. So let's get to it. Now I wasn't certain which kind of tools I was gonna need here, so I chose these here. Now we're gonna start with the turtle van, and as you can see, the windows aren't set correctly which is perfect because we're gonna take them off. I'm gonna start with the heat gun. Now notice how I'm using the heat gun. The goal is, is just to warm the sticker without burning the plastic or the sticker. Now it's warm enough for me to attempt to remove the sticker by trying to get it off from one of these corners and start peeling it off slowly without damaging it so we can use it again and we got it off without damaging it now we're going to need this sticker again so we're just going to put it over here for the time being now we're going to attempt to remove this sticker here without using any heat gun and see if we can get it off and unfortunately i've noticed that i've already made some damage to it here and here so that didn't work so we're going to attempt to remove this one here by using lighter gas now if you look in here, there's a little hole that we can use to get the lighter gas out. And remember, it's very flammable. And as you can see, we get some liquid out here. But it evaporates very fast. It's a little tricky to get this thing off. I'm gonna try some different corners. I'm gonna give it some more lighter gas. It does get wet, but it quickly becomes dry. It starts to work slowly. I have to be very careful. And I get it off. And we're just gonna put it over here next to the other one. Next, we're gonna try to use this WD-40. Whoa, that's a lot. Now, almost immediately, I can tell that the sticker is sucking in the moisture. I'm just gonna dry some of it off the plastic here. Now you can tell by me that I'm having difficulty of getting this sticker off. And we got it off. And we're just gonna put it next to the other. And as you can see, there is a difference here where the other one is a little yellow from the moist. 
Now we're gonna put it right back on the turtle van. But this time, we're gonna put it the right way with some glue here. Now that's much better. And now we're gonna try this one here. I'm gonna use some tape and paper and this is to protect the other stickers when we're going to attempt to remove this sticker here. And we're going to use lighter gas first. Wow, just take a look at that frost. I'm going to try this corner here. And I'm just going to put a little more lighter gas onto it. And again, I'm having difficulties. Ooh, that's not good. This is not working. Now we're going to try the other one by using a heat gun this time. Just gonna warm it up, just like the turtle van. And here I can already feel it's coming off easily. Which is much better because the sticker is intact. Because it is not wet. Now I'm only going to remove half of the sticker. We just wanted to see what method is the best way to get a sticker off without damaging it. Especially when the sticker is made of paper. And here I'm going to attempt to remove the sticker and place it onto the other one. Now these stickers here are a little special. They have this metallic silver look, which is also paper stickers. So it will be interesting to see if we can get them off without damaging them. So far, it seems to go smoothly when you're using a heat gun. This shows just how brown this toy has become. I'm just gonna warm it up by using the heat gun to make it easier and stickier. And then some glue onto the sticker and gently put it on. And that looks fine to me. And here I'm going to try to remove this Decepticon sticker by using lighter gas on it. Now I'm having some difficulties of getting this off. And that didn't go well. Now for the other one, I'm not gonna take any chances here. I'm gonna use the heat gun. Now the sticker is a little difficult to get to, but it's still intact. And I get it off nicely. And here's the other transformer. Now this one really looks good, but I'm gonna use the one I got cheap because the Decepticon logo on this one doesn't look good. So we're gonna try to use WD-40 on this one here and try to remove the sticker here. And I can already tell that this is not working. It's already falling apart and maybe the sticker is too old. So I'm gonna give up on this one here. And here's a toy scooter that's very popular in Denmark. I think most kids in Denmark has had one in their childhood before. But what makes this interesting is that it's supposed to be completely red like here on the bottom, but on the top of it, it has lost most of its red color. But what is very fascinating is the corner right here. It has lost all of its red color. So we're gonna attempt to retrobrite it, just a little corner of it, just to see what happens. And putting a plastic bag over it from not letting the moist get out and letting the UV lights through the scooter. Now when I was filming this, I have no idea what is going to happen here. It's one of the reasons why I'm making this video. Well, that didn't do much, did it? We're gonna try something else. We're gonna try to use some sandpaper right here on this spot here. 
I'm gonna need some stronger sandpaper here. Okay, I'm gonna use a knife this time and try to cut a little piece off. Still no red color. I'm gonna try cut here and see. And it's the same thing here. No red color. If we take a look behind here, we can see just how red it is. So we're gonna remove this sticker here by using a heat gun. Well, we've now tried different methods to see if we can get the color back from this scooter here. But uh, yeah, it's it's really strange plastic. We're gonna come back to this later here. So we're gonna put it on the side here and we're gonna go over to this thing here. And this one is supposed to be completely green and the same here on these thing here. This is supposed to be really orange, but as you can see, it's white on the top here. And if we look at the bottom, we can see its original color green. Now on top of it, the sun has damaged the plastic, which is why it has become very white. And I'm going to explain later what these dark spots are. Now we're not going to retrobrite this because it's too big and we already know it's not going to work here. But we really wanted to see just some green here, right? Well, I could use some sandpaper, but that's going to take too long. so. We're gonna do it a little faster. But before we continue, we have to use these to protect our eyes. Because you see, if I use this and some of this shrapnel hits my eye without using this, I could become blind on that eye forever. So always wear protective glasses. And here we can see just how green it is. And here we had to go really deep just to get to the orange plastic. Now I think that we all want to see its original color and I know a fast way to do it. So we're gonna take this thing outside. And of course, the day I wanted to shoot this, it became really windy here in Denmark. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now I could tell that I got some of the orange back, but only on the side of them. <laughs> now I decided only to do half of it, because I wanted you all to see what it looked like before and after. And as you can tell, we got most of the green back again. Now I can't do anything about the dark spots around here. That's probably because this thing has been under a tree or near a bush for many years. Now believe it or not, this is how they actually do it in football stadiums or any stadium because many of the seats are made of plastic and they're under the sun for a very long time and this is what happens to it. So by using fire to this, they gain the color back again. Now we're not finished yet with the scooter. We still need to know what it looks like in the inside. So we're gonna use a saw.
Now we can all see just how deep the sun has penetrated the red plastic. Now this is very fascinating stuff here. Hmm. I wonder if I can repair this. What would MacGyver do? He probably used gaffer tape. Now I don't know about you out there, but I've learned a lot by making this video here. And seeing all the different types of color plastic and how it reacts to the things we've been doing to them and trying to get its original color back as they were before and learning how to remove all different types of stickers from our toys. Now I hope that you all enjoyed watching this video here, but there is room to make a part four and I have so many crazy ideas of what it should be about. Now I have access to something very special and I think that you all want to see it. Now if you think this episode was crazy, you haven't seen anything yet about retrobriding. Now my other videos of retrobriding haven't done very well sadly and it may be because of the titles or the thumbnails of them. So I hope this video here goes very well so I can make a part four or this could be the last one. So leave a comment down there and tell me what you think. Well, I guess the only thing left to say now is thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next episode. Isn't that right, Mikey? Yeah.